Hey guys, and I'm back with another video. I know it's been a little minute since I posted, but I'm back and ooh, <clears throat> we're about to get right into this video. Um, so as you can tell by the title, it's a Watch Me Work um, Valentine's Day set um, plus how to medium like application. It's pretty simple. My method is either a three bead or a two bead method with short or medium nails. Um, see here, I wanna say I did a two bead method. I like the first bead where the tip meets the natural nail. And then the second bead was my cuticle bead and my apex bead. And this is, I wanna say in real time. So feel free to fast forward to the different parts um, if you need to. But yeah, as you can see, I am patting my acrylic. One thing that um, people fail to realize when learning to do nails is not to drag their acrylic or swipe their acrylic. It's, it's a patting motion with your brush, um, with the belly of your brush. That's what it's called, the thick part of your brush. Um, and we're going in again with the first bead where the um, tip meets the natural nail. I'm just, I'm watching the videos on my mind. She's not really thinking about words. And we're gonna go ahead and work that bead down. And then we're gonna go on with the next bead. So I'm gonna let you guys watch this and I'm going to jump into the next part. Um, but before I do that, as you see, I just apply my tips and it's already um, primed. I didn't show you guys, but my priming technique is I use two, I go in twice with the no lift primer and then I use the young nails. You see my camera shaking, it's because it's connected to my table, y'all. I haven't gotten a new tripod yet, as you can see. I said in one of my videos that I was going to get a new one and I haven't gotten one yet. So I'm going to get one that's sturdier. Um, but yeah. Side note. Like I was saying, oh my gosh. I use the no lift primer. I go in twice and then I go in with the young nails. Um, what is it? The protein bond. Yes, the young nails protein bond.
but she's from Nicaragua. I choose Persian love. I'll be turning up, or oh, we wasting time. Girl, don't waste my time. No. Next, we're going to go in with, um, I used the five in one bit. <clears throat> and we're gonna go in to seal, seal those cuticles. I don't personally go over like four or five RPMs. I hope that's all right. <laughs> yeah, um, when I'm doing the cuticle work, any cuticle work, I don't go fast around. The cuticles are very sensitive. So I take my time and I go around with my five and one around the cuticles as you can see here and then after i do that i'm gonna go in i'm gonna turn my drill up to probably about um, it depends on how bulky the set is like this set is not bulky at all it's a short set 
the application was smooth so i'm probably gonna go in i don't remember what i went in with but i probably will turn my drill up to about 10 or 11 max 12 rpms and then i'm gonna go over the nail and smooth it out so you'll see that next and just get that defined shape you know that the nail needs
Okay, so now we're gonna go in and file the top of the nail to make sure that the nail is straight. So I flip my client's hand over so I can have a straight view when looking at them. And I file them even that way. As you can see, I am just going in and buffing the nails to get them smooth so that when I do my nail art, the nail, I have a smooth surface to work with. It's not bumpy, lumpy, grumpy, <laughs> anything. So just make sure that when you're doing nail art, your surface is smooth so that the nail art comes out smooth. Okay, so for this set, the finished look is going to be matte, but the nail art is going to be glossy. So here you see me applying the matte top coat. And then after it cures, I'm going to go in with my nail art 
and I'll explain to you how I do that. Okay, so for nail art, when I'm doing something like this, like nail art on top of a matte background to where I don't, you know, apply a top coat on top of it. So to make sure that my designs are properly cured with whatever gel polish color I'm using, I always add top coat to the mixture before I start doing my nail art so that after it cures and I wipe it with alcohol, it's basically dry. It's not sticky, there's no inhibition layer to the um, polish. It's like you put a top coat layer on top of your design, your nail art, without actually having to put a top coat on your nail art when you're working with a matte background like this as such. So on that little nail form, you, well, you can't really see it, but on the nail form, that's where I have my polish. So I just mix that polish color that I'm using with a, a, a gel top coat and that's how I achieve that look. Baby, I wonder, would you just, would you 
sweats on, put your sweats on for me. Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Mm-hmm. I'm talking late night for ya. Let me lay a great time on ya. Don't hesitate, no, don't you? Just say you will. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.